Hello and good morning, Dr. Stephanie Chua. My name is Amir Hafizin. Today I will, pre will be presenting my slide on data assignment frame. Before moving into that, I would like to apologize to you, uh, Doctor, for being late submitting my videos and other materials since I've been occupied so many other commitments these few days. Uh, I try to commit all of my time as much as possible for this subject and this is the best that I can do for now. And again, I'm really sorry doctor. Sorry for being too late to reply this, to send my files to you. Okay. Without further ado, let me start to present my slides. Okay. For the first part, is data description okay uh, from data source that you provide to us on your kegel i choose us videos us videos initially contains about forty thousand and nine hundred fifty rows including header row and 16 column which consisting of video id pending date title ch title channel channel title category id Publish time, text, views, likes, dislikes, comment count, thumbnail, copy, comments disable, rating disable, video error, or remove, and description. After doing some data processing, um, uh, on the US video that I, uh, I, I get, uh, the new data sets that I acquired on the uh, contain about 6,223 rows, including header row and 16 column. Not so much different from before, but adding with this eng engagement rate. Okay. Okay. Move on to the next slide. Problem statement. Okay. My problem statement is, using this uh, YouTube trending video data sets, we aim to analyze the factors that contribute to uh, video popularity and identify the patterns in YouTube the video trends. So this goal is uh, for us to gain insights that uh, how these factors can affect the number of views during the trending dates. Okay. Okay. Uh, for data processing, okay, I clean it with Python code using Jupyter Notebook. Uh, 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 for your info, I use Google Colab to run all of my Python code to clean this data. So what I've been cleaning is all of this, which I already listed, which is such a delete all rows that with miss with miss missing values if there is any. And then keep the records with uh, unique video IDs. This means discard any other duplicate ID which has the maximum number of views. Uh, not not to compile with the other uh, duplicate ID lah. Okay. Uh, split text and then delete the, if there is any non English or non SC AS C two. If there is any lah in the video title, channel title, description, and text, because I've more focus on uh, US English part. Okay, and then I also convert the publish time column into the date time format, uh, which is uh, DD day month year, some sort of that. Okay, and then I also sort the view in descending order, which is from uh, the most view until the least views, like that. Okay, and the last thing is, uh, I also copied the engagement rate and create a new column for the engagement rate. So that's how engagement rate column exists. Okay. Okay, for question and answers, uh, in this section, we will look into a few questions and answer it using Power BI data visualization. Okay. Okay, for the first question is, which category in YouTube has the highest views and why? Okay, from uh, the visual in Power BI dashboard, 
I can say that music rank as the as the highest category that has been viewed in YouTube between the 2017 and 2018 trending dates. This is because most of most of all almost all of all of the video title and the China title that uh, has the highest view is from music category lah. So, for example, I can say this one, Childish Cambino Vivo, uh, which has the highest view lah if you select it. Uh, and then, uh, Ariana Grande Vivo also uh, less than 1 billion. Uh, so, almost all of this uh, contributes on how music category can become the first one in the rank. Uh, okay. Okay, next question is which category in YouTube has the lowest views and why? Just now we see which is has the highest views, highest the number highest number of views. Right now we see which has the low, lowest uh, views number. Uh, okay, from this visual we can also let say that uh, the category shows the category shows that uh, give the lowest uh, number of views. Uh, this is because uh, on what have been categorized as a show, uh, it there is only about four videos, uh, and the number of views doesn't contribute much. Uh, to the to make shows become more popular than the rest of categories, so that's why lah. So as you can see, shows not even almost one million. It's just about uh one million plus only if you add together lah. And plus there are only four videos that cate categorize as uh, shows. Okay. Okay, question three. Which YouTube channel has the highest video, uh, highest views between 2017 and 2018? Just now we say about category. This time, we emphasize more on YouTube channel. Which YouTube channel has? Okay, so from the visual given, uh, YouTube with the highest views between 2017 and 2018 is the Evigate, Evigate channel. Which is I can say it's a from music uh, category, and the reason being why uh, Ibigit become most views is because of the Ibigit has nine YouTube videos that consistently has a huge number of views. Besides that, another factor that also contribute Ibigit videos become most viewable is because of number of likes. Uh, uh, is high is consist consistently higher than number of dislikes, which indicates the Ibigit's videos is likable by, uh, by the people lah. As you can see, this is the likes. This is this like a huge difference, uh, and plus the number of views consistently higher lah. That's why it's uh how to say we can say. This is the most views, uh, most viewable during 2017 and 18. But more, but as you can see, this from this legend, 2018 is where Ibigit videos become more viewable than 2017. Okay. Okay. For question four, uh, what are the overall trends in daily views, likes, dislikes, and comments for the trending videos? This is, I come up with this question is because I want to see the correlation between views, likes, dislikes, and the comments for the trending videos. Huh? Okay, I want to see how this, this thing can affect for the trending videos. Okay, so this is my opinion. In my opinion, the trend of the, for the views is consistently higher than the other metrics, which is uh, likes, dislikes, and comments. Indicating these videos tend to receive more views than likes, dislikes, and comments. Yeah, because 
from uh, most of people i can say lah people view video first they might not likes or dislikes or comment the uh, the video like they just view it they just uh, watch it lah and then the likes and the comment show a really relatively steady pattern with a minor fluctuation over the observed observed period you can see it lah from here uh, it's it's consistently uh, increasing over the year lah okay and and the dislikes are notably notably lower than the likes this suggests that the most of the videos in the da- in the da- in the data sets is how to say uh, has a really positive engagement by the the, the people which means more people like it the video than dislike it okay uh, sorry okay for the question five is uh, this is the last question is what trending dates that has most views between 2017 and 2018 this is what i also curious want to know lah because i want to know which date has the most uh, views during these two years okay after doing data analysis on the visualization on the power bi uh, i can say uh, the the trending dates with has highest views is is occurred on 14 May, which is this one about 0.9 billion, and uh, and for the first rank is the trending date uh, on the 14 June lah. This is second rank. Is this is the first rank? So this is the highest uh, views uh, on this data set lah. I can I can put it more how to say more bigger than this, but this is where how I emphasize that because I see, uh, this is where the dates uh trend trend smaller, and between two these date uh, two of these dates, uh, which give more value. That's all from me lah. Okay. Uh, I just show a demonstration on my Power BI, okay, which is this one. Okay, this is my dashboard. Okay, this one there are four table, and I have uh just to mention I I have two pages. Okay, this is for the first page, uh, which have table to indicate what channel, what videos. This is the publish date for the channel. And this is the trending that when it's when when it become trend in the YouTube. Okay. For this one, uh, this is or uh, this is one to show uh how to say the number of views over the trending dates. As you can see just now that I mentioned on the question five, which is this one. Uh, this is occur on fourteen June, a uh, fourteen May. I'm sorry. While this this is occur on uh 14 june so this this two is has the most view lah during uh this period during the trending dates lah. okay uh, i think that's all lah for me uh, see this is okay. Okay lah. thank you doctor for spending your time to to listening my presentation and I'm sorry again for submitting my videos late and my, the other materials. I'm really, really sorry. I hope this, uh, I hope my apology can be accepted. Okay.